Hey Canucks fans, the Canucks returned to practice today after a lengthy break and Elias Pettersson and Quinn Hughes will be alternate captains going forward. I'm Canuck Clay and this is my Canucks take on the one take. It's Clay's Canucks commentary for Sunday, February the 5th. If you're new, here's what you should do. Hit the subscribe button now for daily Canucks insight that's positive, timely and trustworthy. Thanks for my your feedback to my earlier video about the Bo Horvat contract extension Check that video out to see my thoughts on it. And a lot of you have given us some really good feedback in the comment section already. And don't forget tonight, 10.30 p.m., my weekly Sunday night live stream. I'm going to bring in Coach Patrick from Perform and Transform for the first half an hour and then talk Canucks for the rest of it. So hope you can join me tonight at 10.30. Canucks back at practice today. And they're in Newark, New Jersey, getting ready for the start of their, their road trip tomorrow. Well, obviously, they're on the road trip already but they will be uh, kicking it off with a game against the New Jersey Devils tomorrow. And this is how the Canucks lined up in practice. Now remember, no more Horvat traded, no more Mikheyev injured, and then I think Peterson lost on waiver. So that's three guys that were playing up until the last game before the break way back on that last Friday of, of January. And now those three guys are gone. So in their place are Podkolzin, Amon, and Beauvillier. So this is how the Canucks lined up at practice today. And it's actually not what I expected. Top line was Pedersen and Kuzmenko, but not Besser is Beauvillier there. So Pedersen, Kuzmenko, and Beauvillier. Beauvillier already getting to play with our all-star, getting a chance to make a good first impression. Second line of Miller and Garland, but not Beauvillier or Besser. And Dakota Joshua. So a second line of Miller, Garland, and Joshua. So that means Besser and Paul Colson are on the third line centered by Sheldon Dries, and then a fourth line of Oman, Lazar, and Di Giuseppe. So that means Jack Stednika looked to be the extra forward, although I don't see his name listed. This is a Lions courtesy of Ian McIntyre, who I think is the only Canucks beat reporter right now in New Jersey. So again, Pedersen, Kuzmeka, Beauvillier, Miller, Garland, Joshua, Dries, Besser, Podkolzin, Oman, Lazar, Di Giuseppe. Then your Blue liners were Hughes with Bear. I like that pair. Oil and Shen. Don't mind it. Stillman and Myers. Don't like that one. And then Dermot and Burroughs. So it looks like Dermot and Burroughs may be the extra pairing tomorrow night. Unless they somehow play Dermot and Burroughs over Stillman and Myers. Don't see that happening. But we will see what happens. So a couple of surprises for me. I, I thought it was going to be Pedersen, Kuzmenko, Besser. And Miller, Gar Garland, Beauvillier. But instead it's Pedersen, Kuzmenko, Beauvillier. And then Miller, Garland, Joshua. So the one I got wrong on the top six was Besser dropping down the third line. But I guess that gives that third line a bit more balance with Besser and Pod Colson on that line. And Dries can pop in a goal in here or there. So that's how the Canucks will likely line up. It'll be interesting to see who gets the start actually in net. Colin Dillia was out playing Spencer Martin to come into uh, going into their all-star break. And the Canucks do have three games in four nights. They have New Jersey on Monday, the Rangers on Wednesday, and then the much-anticipated matchup with Bo Horvat and the New York Islanders on Thursday. So a couple of things to look at for sure, a few games to look forward to this week. By the way, I have game over on uh, SDPN tomorrow as well after the Canucks-Devils game. The bigger news item, aside from the Horvat extension, of course, was the fact that uh, Rick Tockett once again spoke to the media, or at least Ian McIntyre, and he confirmed what he said on Sportsnet 650 uh, in the middle of last week, that both Quinn Hughes and Elias Pettersson will be wearing A's. I looked it up. They, I think the proper term is alternate captain, not assistant captain, not associate captain, as an alternate captain. So they can step in when there's no captain, like the Canucks have right now, when the captain's somehow hurt, wh whatever it may be. And then I think the alternate captains, I don't know if you have to rotate them or how exactly it works. But I do know that this year, it was Horvat as the captain. And then we have three alternates. And it was JT Miller, Oliver ekman Larson, and Tyler Myers. And then I think there's one game where Oyo was hurt, then PD got to wear the A. So maybe they had one, one captain and then some... Uh, some alternates and i now that i think about it i don't know if all three guys wear the a in one game or no probably not i think that has to rotate through each game so then you might only have a c and an a in a game as opposed to um, all three guys wearing a's regardless it used to be horvat 
with Miller, Oyel, and Myers. Now it'll be no Horvat, obviously, but they're not going to name a captain. It doesn't sound like it till the end of the season. So you have four that will be sharing the A as the alternate. And that includes Miller again, OEL again, and now Pedersen and Hughes. So that means the biggest name that's missing there is now Tyler Myers seems, I don't know if you call it demotion, but Tyler Myers is not seemingly in the mix to be an alternate captain. So that's kind of interesting thing to, to keep an eye on. Of course, you don't need a letter on your jersey to be a leader, i.e. Luke Shen, I w- you'd say, was a, as a locker room leader in some ways, and he never was an alternate captain. But it, this is more, I think, of a of a, a signal to Pedersen and Hughes. We believe in you. You guys are captain material, or at least alternate captain material. And I wonder, I, I just wonder, Canucks fans, correct me if I'm wrong, I think most people, including myself, would, would peg Petey as the next captain for the Vancouver Canucks. But is there is there a world where Quinn Hughes ends up being the captain of the Canucks? And therefore, by giving both Petey and Hughes an A, as opposed to giving a C to one of them right now, you give a bit of time, you see how they do for the final three months of the season, and maybe the way they handle things, maybe the way they... They do, how well they do, their performance will help dictate if it's one of those two, which one of those two it will be. So again, uh, my, my, my hunch is that they didn't name Petey or Hughes as a captain now because they want to see how they both do, almost evaluate them on a trial basis as an alternate captain over the next few months. Let me know what you think, or maybe maybe you might think it is Petey, it's, it's destined to be Petey, but instead of doing it mid-season, they want to kind of do a better reveal at the start of next season. So something something to think about for sure. So I would love your feedback, Canucks fans, on that. Is this a way to buy more time? Is this a way to evaluate? Or is this kind of being in the plans all along ever since they traded Horvat? And let me know what you think of Myers not having an A anymore. And also let me know what you think of these lines. Are you surprised with the way Rick Tockett lined them up? But according to Ian McIntyre, it was um, a spirited practice because it was a week off, a new coach, the three HL guys that came up, and of course, um, new blood in the form of Anthony Beauvillier as well. So Canucks fans, let me know your thoughts on any of those things before. Also, check out my Horvat extension video and get ready for some goodness tonight at 10.30 p.m. for my weekly Sunday night live stream. Shout out to my sponsors, Van Seed Experts Real Estate, Perform and Transform, Personal Training Weight Loss. Thank you, legendary Lucas Gates, legendary Justin Credible, legendary Andrew Chang, Hall of Fame and Franchise members as well. And thanks to all of you. Always appreciate you. Never take you for granted. So as always, subscribe, like the video, become a member, upgrade your membership, leave a donation, and most importantly, comment on the lines, the D pairings, and naming Petey and Hughes as alternate captains. Stay safe, stay healthy, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. See you tonight at 10.30 p.m. God bless, and go Canucks go.